I'm Todd Hodnett with Accuracy First. We're on the range today and we're talking about drag models. So a lot of people don't really understand when we're talking about G1s or G7s. Now this is a prop that is the actual drag model for a G1. So it's one inch in diameter and weighs one pound. This is a G7 drag model, all right? So the standard G7. So when we look at something say, well, are we gonna compare it to G1 or a G7? The reality is out to transonic, so from your weapon system out to Mach 1.2, whether you're using a G1 or a G7 or a custom drag model, the predictive algorithm is gonna be nearly completely exactly the same whether you're using a G1 or G7 or even a custom drag model. So the reality is unless I'm shooting past transonic, I can use a G1. It's going to be just as accurate as a G7 and it's going to be just as accurate as a custom drag model. Once we get farther in shooting into subsonic and past subsonic, that's when the custom drag model really picks up. But G1s are fine out to trans. G7s, same thing. It's only once we get past transit, the G7 is a little bit better than the G1 as far as the actual prediction.